So unexpectedly, two new Pokemon trailers were released yesterday, and the reason why I took so long to make this video was because I got busy with work. Anyways, let's get to what was shown. Now in the Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl trailer, they showed the return of many different beloved features from the original games. Those features include being able to fish wherever you want instead of just one specific spot like in the later games, as well as the return of honey trees. Let's just hope they're not as tedious as they were in the original when it comes to catching certain Pokemon. Plus, we also see the return of the Poketch, and instead of being on the bottom screen, it's on the top right hand corner. It has all the original apps such as the number of steps, your Pokemon's health, and the dowsing machine, but it also has a new app. An app that can call upon wild Pokemon to do HM moves, basically bringing back HM moves and making them more similar to the ride Pokemon from Sun and Moon. And next we see the return of making Poffins for Pokemon contests, which alright, that's not too bad. As well as the return of Amity Square, where this time, instead of just bringing out one of your Pokemon, you get to bring out all six of the Pokemon in your party. You can even make Poffins with your Pokemon in Amity Square. Now aside from just features, we also see the return of three characters from the original Diamond and Pearl and Platinum games, with 3D models. And I gotta say, it's a pretty good transition from 2D to 3D. And adding on to that, we also see Gardenia's gym, which looks like it's based on the Diamond and Pearl version of the gym instead of the Platinum version. Which makes me a little worried that they might be using the Diamond and Pearl teams of all the gym leaders instead of the Platinum teams, mainly because I like their updated Platinum teams better, specifically for certain gym leaders like Volkner. Now let's move on to Legends Arceus, and I gotta say, the stuff they showed in the trailer was pretty intriguing. However, I do have some concerns about one specific thing in the trailer, and I'll get to that later. What they first showed was, in order to summon the writable Pokemon, you have to use an item called the Celestia Flute in order to summon them. And the flute kind of sounds like the Diamond and Pearl theme, which reminds me of the event item known as the Azure Flute, that was used to summon Arceus in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum. And the next thing that was shown was that you can actually throw Pokeballs at wild Pokemon while you're riding. Kind of similar to how Link is able to shoot arrows while in midair. So that's pretty cool. Plus you're able to control Braviary while flying. Pretty much similar to the sword feature from Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. Now in the trailer they also showed a group of people called the Wardens, who protect special Pokemon called Nobles, which are Pokemon that have received a blessing and are pretty powerful, and respected by the native people of Hisui, so much so that they actually have Wardens protect the Pokemon by keeping the territory safe and giving them food offerings. And for some mysterious reason, the Pokemon are actually becoming more berserk and are growing in size, similar to Totem Pokemon, and it's up to the main player character to calm them down. However, you can't just calm them down with simple Pokemon battling, you have to to hit the Pokemon with bombs made out of their favorite food, while at the same time weakening them. Now only one noble Pokemon was shown in the trailer, and that Pokemon was Cleavor, which is an ancient evolution of Scyther, using special minerals found in the Hisui region. And when you think about it, it kind of makes sense that it has a more natural evolution as opposed to Scizor, because the Metal Code obviously hasn't been invented yet. Which makes me think that other Pokemon that need the Metal Code to evolve could have natural evolutions during this time, like maybe an alternate evolution of Onix. Now the Wardens themselves, all four of them were pretty much shown in the trailer, and three out of four of them are ancestors of well-known characters, with Mai being the ancestor of Marley, Arezu being the ancestor of the Team Galactic Commander Mars, and Lian being the ancestor of the Innova Gym Leader Clay. Which is pretty cool because instead of just having the ancestors of characters that appear in the Sinnoh games, you now have ancestors of characters from other regions. So perhaps we can see more characters like this. Maybe even an ancestor of Professor Oak, who knows. Now they've also shown the feature of customizing your character, which is pretty nice because I honestly don't want to look like Dawn and Lucas in this game. Plus there's also a photography studio where you can take various different pictures with your Pokemon and change the background, similar to Sun and Moon. And while this next feature wasn't shown in the trailer, it was actually seen on the official Pokemon website. You can actually leave your Pokemon at the pastures, which is basically the past version of the PC box, which I kind of knew because there's barely any technology in this era. At least that's what I thought until this thing was shown. Yeah, I gotta talk about this one. So at the start of your adventure, you receive a device called the Arc Phone, which obviously has a connection to Arceus, and you can use this phone as a map. Now, the reason why I have a problem with this is because we're in the distant past where you have to create your own Pokeballs through various different materials. And your mission in this game is to create the first ever Pokedex, which is a notebook you record your data on. So if this is the case, why do we have an advanced smartphone? Like this really doesn't make any sort of sense. Like, the only way for this to make any sort of sense is that this has to belong to an ancient advanced civilization that predates Hisui. 
because having this sort of device now in ancient times really makes no sort of sense, like at all. But overall, I enjoyed almost everything that was shown in this trailer. I enjoyed everything that was shown in the BDSP trailer. I don't think there's going to be that many new trailers for BDSP, mainly because it's a month away from being released. However, I do think we're going to see more trailers for Legends Arceus coming up soon. And with all that being said, what'd you guys think of this video? Be sure to comment down below. Don't forget to like this video, share this video, and if you want to subscribe to the channel, please subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Take care.